奈良隊の報告中、揃ったその時、世界を砂ながら光が、この道の蘇る。見よ、報告中の秘跡、蘇る。究極の報告心、レインボードラゴン。What's up, YouTube? This is Jansen Peter 22. Back here again, this time with a deck profile video. And yes, finally, it's time. It's the, my deck profile video of the Crystal Beast deck. 2022 with the structure deck 44 Legends of the Crystal Structure Deck and Animation Chronicle 2022 uh, pack. Yep, so fine. Uh, I know you. I've been. I promised you guys a deck profile video of the Crystal Beast deck profile. So yeah, let's get on to it. So let's start with the monsters. So we'll. I'm gonna separate the monsters into the Crystal Beast, uh, normal Crystal Beast, and then the Advanced Crystal Beast. Yes, we are. We are running the Advanced Crystal Beast in the deck. So let's get on with it. So for our the normal Crystal Beast, we run three. A fire Pegasus, obviously. One, one, two, one, three. Then one. So bees are Topaz Tiger. Two. Rainbow Dragon, the Zenith Crystal Beast, or Rainbow Dragon, the Crystal Beast, and then lastly one. Ah,、uh, Ruby Kabanker. Because Ruby Kabanker is good. So yeah, these are my normal Crystal Beast that we run. So Pegasus, no need to、uh, no need to explain why three. Topaz Tiger. The reason why I run him is because he's a no,、uh, he's a normal Crystal Beast, and he is the biggest among all of the other Crystal Beasts. So that's why I run him. He has a 2,000 attack meter. Then we have、uh, Rainbow Dragon, the Zenith Crystal Beast. Of course, why would you run him? Because he's so good. He gets you a fish tail summon and searches your rainbow dragon at, to add to your hand. He's very crucial in this deck. He, I'll explain why later. And then Ruby Kabanker. Ruby Kabanker was quite a tough choice because yes, you will definitely run Ruby Kabanker. But the, the question is, how many are you running? I, but firstly, I tried two, but I think one is enough because you can get it out anyways. So yeah, that is the normal Crystal Beast. And for Our rainbow dragons. We run across two rainbow dragons. That's it. That's all we run. Just two rainbow dragons. Rainbow dragons. We need it because of the、uh, ultimate crystal monster. We need to so that we can summon our fusion monster. So that's our rainbow dragons. Then let's get on to the advanced crystal beast. How many are we running? So let's start off with the obvious ones. We are going to run. That is three. Ah,、uh, Sapphire Advanced Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus, two Ruby Kabanka Advanced Crystal Beast, and three Cobalt Eagle for our Crystal Searchers. And last but not least, we do run one more, and that is one Crystal Beast Emerald Turtle. So this is all the Advanced Crystal Beast that we run because we. Speed up, they speed up the deck a lot because、uh, Kabanka can spend some himself and any advanced crystal beast from your spend trap zone.、Uh, Sapphire Pegasus,、uh, he puts himself, he puts any advanced crystal beast from your deck, from the deck, vanish, graveyard, hand if your spend trap zone is really strong, even better than、uh, the normal Sapphire Pegasus. So yeah, definitely you want three. Then Cobalt Eagle is just our. Advanced Dark Shooter, so we definitely need to run him. And Emerald、uh, Turtle. This card doesn't need to be Emerald Turtle. It can be any of the new Advanced Crystal Beasts. But I run Emerald Emerald、uh, Tortoise because I like the artwork. The artwork is like the nicest among. To me, it's the nicest among all of them. And it's a level three. So yeah, that is our Advanced Crystal Beast. Next. Our hand traps. We do run two. Ash Blossom. I enjoy spring. I find two is enough because most of the time you're using him to cross ah、uh, cross out designator. So yeah, that's all the monsters we run for the deck. That's actually pretty a lot of monsters actually. So now we're going to the spells. So spells we run one and start because advanced dark is your useful ah、uh, not really useful. It's just the few the few spell to enable your advanced crystal beast. 
I was running two earlier, but I find two is kind of a weak, so we just run one. One is enough. Then we go on to important spells. We run three crystal bond, two crystal beacon. One of these uh, new spells is crystal grace. I can if I remember correctly. So yeah, this is this out. And last but not least, three. Awakening of the Crystal Roar. So yeah, this is all our spells that we run here. So the new cards are obviously the Crystal Lord, Awakening Crystal Lord, and Crystal Grace. No, sorry, not Crystal Grace. Uh, I think it's called Crystal. I can't remember what's this card name. So yeah. So this card is really strong. If, if we not wise not to run three because this card is really good. Uh, basically, he, you reveal one uh, ultimate crystal monster from the hand, or if you control an ultimate crystal, you can use both effects. First effect is uh, take one uh, breach card from the deck to your hand, either add it to your hand or uh, send it to the graveyard. And second effect is stress some one crystal beast monster from the deck. So yeah, that's really good. Then the la then we run one of this spell. This this one is just basically destroy one of the crystal beast, then summon a crystal token. Crystal Beast token, so yeah, it gives you another name, Crystal Beast name, and then if your Crystal Beast is put into your spell and tap zone, then you can banish it from the grave, then you can uh, spell out one of the Crystal Beast from your spell and tap zone. So yeah, that's the reason why we run it. So that's the Crystal spell. Then we run to the bridges. We run two bridge of uh, bridge of the heart. Then we run three. Uh, Rainbow Bridge. So, no need really need to explain why we run that. This card is insane. This card guarantees you a play even if even after you get a uh, hand trap. So yeah, this card is, this card lets you search, uh, destroy one crystal beast monster on your field or in your hand to search for one more other crystal beast, which is pretty good. And then it gets you an additional normal summon. And then it has the crystal conquer. You can if one of your crystal beast from your field goes to your spell trap zone, you can. Bounce this card, again, this card and one card your opponent controls, bounce them back, bounce them both back to your hand. Then, three Rainbow Bridge, I'm gonna explain why. It's a crystal card searcher, so yeah, that's pretty good. Next, we run to the staple spells, we run one Monster Reborn, two uh, Caught by the Grave, and one uh, Cross Out Designator. So, yeah, I forgot to mention this is in OCG list. So in the OCG list, uh, at the grave is at two. In the TCG, I know it's at one. Then cross out designator in the OCG is at one. But in run around the TCG is at three. So yeah, if we are playing the TCG, uh, then this I will increase this to three. Then this one to one. So yeah, that's our uh, staple spells at one. Then last but not least, we do one one trap, and that is. The Infinity Barrier of the Death. So this card is basically is a counter trap. Opponent activates a card effect. You can just destroy one Crystal Beast uh, on your field, then make an activation and then destroy it. Then he has the Vanish. Uh, if your Crystal card is uh, leaves the field by a card effect, you can vanish this card from the grave. Then uh, add a Crystal Beast uh, monster from your deck into your spell. Deck. So yeah. Pretty good counter trap right here. Let's get move on to the extra deck. So the extra deck, we're just gonna go into the fusion monsters first. So the fusion monsters, you run two rainbow dragon overdrive. Sorry, two rainbow over dragon. So yeah, this is the one that you this is another ultimate crystal that you can summon just by tributing a rainbow dragon. We don't run ultimate crystal magic anymore, so we can the only way to summon him is by tributing a rainbow dragon. And last but not least, my favorite. The monster of the deck, and that is Hyukaka no Hokyukushi Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. So, yeah, we run three Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. So, the reason why I run three Rainbow Dragon Overdrive is because he's in fact he's insane. He tributes himself. If he has not battle, you can return all cards on the field back to the deck, shuffle back, back to the deck. Then spend summon as many crystal beast monsters for your banish zone. Then if you have seven or more crystal beasts on in your banish zone, you can seven thousand attack. 
The summary requirements is a bit uh, hefty, but if you did that, you can easily do it. And the reason why we run 3 is because his summoning is not once per turn. So, if let's say you use his effect to beat him, then you should spend summon back all your Crystal Beasts. Then, if you have 7 Crystal Beasts and 1 Auto Crystal in your graveyard again, you can just banish them and then summon him right back there and then. So yeah, this card is insane. I just, uh, later in the video, I'm going to show you a little combo that we can do with him. A little loop that I figured it out that we can do with him. Yeah, so that's all our future monsters. That's all we run. So now we go on to the link monsters. Link monsters, we run our trusty little Shayuja Skaldred because draw 4, return 3. Who doesn't want that? And then you can summon a monster from your hand. One, Apollosa, the bow goddess, because Apollosa is a monster negate and it doesn't negate once per turn. It negates how many link markers, link materials they use to summon him. Then one, uh, Heretic Seal. So, Heretic Seal, uh, the reason why I have Heretic Seal is because most of the times if you do have dragons, you can just use two dragons and just summon him out to uh, have a free bounce on the field. And you may tribute him, you can spend summon a free dragon from your deck to your from the deck to your field so uh, by attack and defense becomes you so you can summon a free zenith out so yeah that's all the link monsters we run then for uh, our exceed monster the remaining monsters are all exceeds so yeah first we run one levier the sea dragon because which better summon why not tornado dragon tornado dragon is because he can pop a spell and trap uh, quick. during your opponent's turn it's a quick effect so yeah why not one Number 41, Baguska. Baguska is a lifesaver for this deck. Everybody relies on Bag Everybody who picked Crystal Beast relies on Baguska to save him. It's always a plan B, so good to run him. Then number number 60, uh the timeless. So number 60 is also one of the starter of the deck that uh, we run because he guarantees you either free spell summon or draw to discard one. But if you use him spec to spell summon. You skip, you skip your next main phase 1, which most of the time isn't a problem for this deck. Or if you draw 2, discard 1, you skip your next draw phase. So yeah, rank 4s and 3s of the deck. Then we run 1, of course, Zeus. Who, why wouldn't you run Zeus? Zeus is so good. This card uh, literally can save lives just by attaching 2 materials. This card is insane. Uh, limited to 1 here in OCG, so yeah, you definitely want 1 Zeus. And then last but not least, this is a tech, two tech cards I like to run. So first we run one Raider's Knight. And of course, one of my favorite Exceed monsters of the game, Arc Rebellion, Exceed the Dragon. So the reason why you run these two is because your Advanced Crystal Beast, if you're playing Advanced Crystal Beast and you have the Advanced Dark on the field, your all your Crystal Beasts become dark. So you can easily summon this this guy out and this this card is like a literally an OTK. Imagine you have a rainbow over dragon and you have like some crystal beast on the field, you just summon him. Overlay to these two, detach one, summon him. So I summon your uh re arc rebellion, detach detach uh, material, then he gains all attack mon attacks monster attacks on the current on the field and he negates all other monster effects at peace, then he can just punch for game. So yeah, that's another Two uh, exit monsters that I run. You can you can not play this, but I play, find that these two cards guarantees another OTK combo. So yeah, so that's so that is the deck profile of the deck. So now that I have showed you my deck profile, let's get on to the combo, shall we? So yeah, be right back. All right, guys, let's get on to how to play the deck. So I'm gonna just gonna give my deck a good little shuffle here to see what we start off with. See, then we can draw the five cards of our deck and let's see what we get here. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, uh, we have advanced dark hand, so we don't need to search it out. So we're gonna activate our advanced dark. Then we're gonna activate our crystal bond. So let's say if your opponent has an ash blossom, you can just use our cross out designator to negate him. So we're gonna activate the crystal bond. We're gonna search out the normal pegasus. Then we're gonna put the rainbow dragon zenith into our spell and trap zone. Yeah, we're gonna normal summon the Pegasus. Pegasus is going to place our advanced Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus into our spell and trap zone. Okay, we're gonna give the back a good little shuffle. Then Zenith's effect, gonna banish him from our spell and trap zone. Two special summon out. 
another crystal beast with different name we're gonna sum up our topaz tiger then we're gonna add an ultimate crystal monster from our deck to our hand which is our rainbow dragon then we're gonna overlay both topaz tiger and sapphire pegasus to make our number 60 the timeless then number 60 the timeless is gonna detach two materials spend summon back a crystal uh, most level for all over monster in our grief and defense position, but no, we have no main phase one next turn. But send back the Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus is going to put the Ruby Kabanker into our spell and trap zone. Advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Kabanker. Ruby Kabanker's effect going to spend some himself and the Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus is going to place another one, so we're going to place the Emerald Turtle from our deck to our head, from our deck to our spell and trap zone. So now. We have a total of five different crystal beasts in our graveyard and spell and trap zone. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. So we just need two more. So we're just gonna link four into our Shayuja the Scout Threat. Shayuja the Scout Threat is gonna draw four. Then we're gonna return three cards from our hand back into the deck. So we have a total of eight cards. In our hands, so we're just going to return. We're going to return one Carbuncle, one Sapphire Pegasus. No, I got to keep Sapphire here because we got these three cards in hand. We're going to return this, and maybe the uh, cross out designator to our from my hand to the back to the deck. Now, Shayuja Skaldred is going to special summon our uh, level four almost from my hand. We're going to special summon the Pegasus. Pegasus is going to let us put another one. So we're going to put the. Ruby Carbuncle to our spell and trap zone. Next, we are going to activate our new continuous spell right here, which is the uh, Bridge of the Heart. Then, Bridge of the Heart is going to last normal summon again. We're going to normal summon another Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus is going to place our last one we are missing, which is the Cobalt Eager from our deck to our hand. So just like that, we already meet the requirements of seven Crystal Beast monsters from on the field and in the graveyard. So let's just count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a total of eight different uh, Crystal Beasts occurring on our field here. Now, and we have two monsters as well. So what we're going to do, we are going to spell summon our Rainbow Dragon to the field. Then next, since we have the quick play spell, we're going to activate the quick play spell. Then since we control an ultimate crystal monster, we're going to special summon a crystal beast monster and we're going to add a bridge card from our deck to hand. So we're going to add the rainbow bridge to our hand Then we're going to special summon a sapphire pegasus to our field. Sapphire pegasus is going to place another crystal beast spell and uh, monster into our spell and trap. So we're going to place another... Uh, Rainbow Dragon Zenith hit the Rainbow Bridge to search out our counter trap because we need the counter trap to the field. Now, this is a, this card is in our hand. Now, since we have so many cards on the field, what we're gonna do, we're gonna tribute the Rainbow Dragon to special summon out our Rainbow Dragon, Rainbow Over Dragon. Then, since we need four monsters. We're gonna use one Pegasus, one Rainbow Dra Over Dragon, one sub uh, Advanced Pegasus, and one Shayuja the Skaldred to link summon into our Apollosa the Bow Goddess. Apollosa the Bow Goddess is going to have four negates because we use four monsters to summon to summon her. Then we are going to banish. our crystal beast in the on the field and in the grave so we're gonna banish total of eight cards here so one advanced pegasus one normal pegasus since we have a normal pegasus on the field why not just banish him as well two pass tiger another pegasus and we have ruby carbuncle that's one two three four five six banish the zenith on our spell trap zone and then we're gonna banish the rainbow dragon so there's a total of seven crystal beasts vanished and an ultimate crystal monster to summon out our rainbow dragon overdrive we have so on our first turn we have a four negate and our rainbow dragon overdrive then our set card we're just going to set it to the field 
and then we're gonna pass the turn over to our opponent. So let's say your opponent uh, starts his turn. We're just gonna if your opponent activates something that you find that is not safe, like a spell trap zone, spell trap card. The only way to break this board is a Ragged Key and a Dark Hole at the same time, or maybe two Ragged Key. So just if let's say your opponent activates a Ragged Key, you guys activate the Counter Trap. We're gonna pop uh Crystal Beast on our spell and trap zone to the graveyard. We're gonna pop the Ruby Carbuncle to negate and destroy the card. Then Apollosa is gonna negate his monster's effect. So now here's the interesting thing you can do with this deck. So let's say if you want to protect your Apollosa from being destroyed by battle, you can just use the Rainbow Dragon Overdrive effect to tribute himself. Then shuffling all cards on the deck, sorry, on the field into the deck. So our four cards gonna go back to the deck. Then Apollosa is gonna go back to the extra deck as well. We're gonna shuffle the deck. We're gonna special summon out all our Crystal Beasts. Vanish Crystal Beast from our Vanny Zone back to the field. So we're just pressing on back our three Pegasus, two Rainbow Dragon Zeniths. Or if you want different names, you can summon back three Pegasus, one Red Zenith, and one Topaz Tiger. It doesn't matter up to you, but I'm just gonna summon back all the bigger Crystal Beasts on the field. So three Pegasus is gonna activate their effects. We're gonna put three more Crystal Beasts to our spell and trap zone. Yeah, just gonna put the advanced Crystal Beast to our spell and trap zone here. Shuffle the deck. Then your opponent is gonna pass his turn. Then we're gonna draw one card. We actually draw a cross out. So then we're going to go into our battle phase and just kill our opponent right here and there. So yeah, that is the combo of how to play the deck. So let's just say if your opponent manages to survive the turn. The, the turn or if you say you because you don't have a main phase one you skip our main phase one so we're just gonna go into battle phase and attack and let's say your opponent manages to survive this he maybe plays a switch square crow or something funny i don't know so what we're gonna do we are going to do the whole process again so what we're gonna do we're gonna link for uh two up to you what monster you want to use maybe i'm going to use sapphire pegasus and the rainbow dragon zenith to link someone into another Apollosa again. Apollosa is going to have four negates again. Then we are going to count our crystal beast in our graveyard and our spell and trap zone. So let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have enough crystal beasts to banish. So we're just going to banish another uh, again. Eight, seven crystal beasts again. And then one ultimate crystal monster we control. So let's just count ultimate crystal, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's finish the seven again. To special summon out our Rainbow Dragon Overdrive back to the field. Rainbow Dragon Overdrive is going to have 11,000 attack because we do have seven banish, seven or more banished crystal beasts in our banished zone. So yeah, this is the combo again, so you can just do the uh, another just banish the self again to spend some self and oh I forgot to mention since we do we did place our spell trap zone to our field we can use the counter trap effect to banish itself from the grave then you can you gonna place another uh crystal beast to our spell and trap zone again but we did we did we didn't do that because we don't we don't really need to do that so now we're gonna just pass the turn to our opponent our closer is gonna negate again then using the uh overdrive again just shuffling back everything to the field and Apollosa will go back to the extra deck again. Shuffle, shuffle. We're gonna special summon out our banished crystal beast once again. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's five monsters again. Pegasus, three Pegasus are gonna prop, putting another three crystal beasts to our spell and trap zone again. You can put whatever you want, you can even put Emerald Turtle up to you. Oh, over here then next then our turn again we're gonna draw a card then repeat the process over and over and over again gonna link four into our apollosa the bow goddess which will give us four negates then we're gonna count our graveyard again to see whether we have enough crystal beasts or not we have one two three four four 
five, six, seven, eight. Crystal Beast again to banish. So we're just gonna banish again. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Crystal Beast and ultimate Crystal Monster because we did use we have, we do have ultimate Crystal Monsters to have banish in our grave. So we're gonna banish the eight again. Then we're gonna summon out our last Rainbow Dragon Overdrive again. So yeah, this is the loop. The technique, the mini loop that I found out with Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. That's why I run three copies of him. This card is just insane. So now, it, since it's your turn, and you do have a main phase one again because number sixty effect is gone. So we can now go into our battle phase. So let's say during our battle phase, we just go Apollo Star. We're gonna attack. Then, if let's say your opponent tries to do something funny or whatever, you can just use the Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. Three bird himself. Then, everything returns back to the deck again. Then we're gonna special summon back all our crystal bees again and repeat the process all again. But we ran out of our rainbow dragon overdrive, so we just gonna summon back our crystal bees. But by the time you do that, your opponent's view is gonna be empty. You summon back all your crystal bees, you're just gonna punch for game right here and there. So, yeah, that is I figured out with rainbow dragon overdrive. That card is insane. This card is too good not to play three. That's why I run three copies of him. So deck profile. That's my uh, Crystal Beast deck profile with the support of the Advanced Crystal Beast and the structure deck. Are forty-four Legends of the Crystals. Hope you guys like my deck profile of my Crystal Beast deck. If you do. I like what you see please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i would love to i would love to hear your feedback on this deck if you think if you think this deck needs some little upgrading or something or if you or if i can add any card to improve the deck please do let me know then uh competitive wise for this deck i tried guys i i love playing this deck this game this deck is really really fun it's just so fun to just keep doing the Rainbow Dragon Overdrive loop over and over and over again. And you there's so many things you can do. Like you can just go into let's say your opponent controls a trap tra tra zone, you just go to rank 4, go into Tornado Dragon to pop one of his back row, then use the Rainbow Tornado Dragon to link 4 again into an Apollosa. You can do whatever you want with this deck. This there's so many possibilities you can do with this deck. But uh, competitive wise is not there. I, I tried guys, I tried playing against meta decks. Um, I tried my best to play against them. I can I can say uh, we all doubt that this deck right now is a really good rogue deck. Like finally at least Crystal Beast now has become a playable rogue deck to actually compete against the other decks. But the meta wise just no. The, we we have a small chance to play again, to fight against the meta. Stack profile 2022 20, with the added support of the Animation Chronicle and the Structure Deck 44. Hope you guys like, enjoy my video. Give a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I would love to hear your opinions on this deck. Do you think it's good? Do you think we need we need to add uh, additional cards to make the deck even better? To maybe compete against the meta? I don't know. I would love to hear your feedback. So that's all for today guys and oh i forgot to mention uh nessie if you are watching this i hope you like i hope you do watch my video of my crystal beast deck profile uh i would love to hear your thoughts and maybe if, if you like the deck or not if you like if, if you like the deck or not and then i would love to hear your feedback or maybe maybe you, you could do a reaction video to my deck profile it's totally up to you love to i would love to hear from you so yeah so yeah, that's all for today guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't know I have social media right now, you can follow me in the links below here or in the description box below. And right now guys, I am now 32 more subs to 200 subs to doing my second giveaway. So like I, like I said guys, if you do want giveaway, please do continue to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment down in my videos below. And yep and uh i'll be doing do videos or card fight videos very very soon because i just want to expand my channel a little bit so yeah please do stay tuned for that guys you might never know you can see this deck in action against against other people so yeah so yeah that's all for today guys thank you guys so much for watching this is jason undisputed 22 signing off